Hello, SVO6 group. Um, I'm going to quickly go through how to change the bearings under the bed today. There's also bearings behind the extruder. There's a blue um, compartment uh, back here. Very easy as well. Uh, if you take the extruder off, it's pretty easy to take this off uh, and change. There's three bearings in here. On the Z-axis, uh, there's two bearings on each side, so four, and under the bed there's three, so a total of ten. Uh, I printed um, the LM8UU bearings uh, that I'll replace. So I'm going to try and be quick. I'm not editing this, so be patient with me. Uh, you take the PEI plate off. There's four screws at the top of the bed. We're going to unscrew those. Uh, I did that um, before we started just to save some time. Uh, lift this up slowly underneath. There are four spacers, um, and there was another video that Rory did. Um, actually, since you're doing this, take the time, put them next to each other, make sure they're all the same height. Uh, there has been some instances uh, that's been reported where one of them wasn't the same height, and that's really the leveling issues. So you can actually make them all the same height. Uh, so we'll save those off to the side. Pull the bed forward. I put the plate back here. It'll just rest. Just be careful that it doesn't fall off the back. Uh, and then you unscrew the tensioning knob on the front. It just unscrews and releases the belt. There's four screws at the front of this plate. Um, so we're going to unscrew these four. They come out the front, two on each side. I'll just put those screws to the side. This plate just comes off. Okay, and then at the front of the bed, there's two screws here that hold the linear rod in place. We're going to unscrew those. So that's pretty quick. Once these four are unscrewed, you'll be able to get access to the rod, which will slide out, and then you'll be able to turn this bed over and change your linear bearings if you like. Uh, the linear bearings, everybody's reporting uh, with the ball bearings inside against the rods. You can, you know, lube. Um, I have multi-purpose super uh, lube, multi-use synthetic oil. Uh, works well. Uh, there's various links that the groups put out there that you could lube. Uh, but with these plastic parts, I actually like them a lot. They're a lot quieter, and I'll show you what they look like. So the original bearing and you know up close if you look inside you'll see the ball bearings that makes a lot of noise uh, you can lube it and be a little quieter um, but I printed the LM8 EU um, and I have the dimensions uh, and I'll put that link at the bottom of the video um, but these are what I replaced on all of the linear bearings so this will just lift up these two pieces come out off the rods and then this will slide off the back and I don't have a zoom on there but the rods will just slide off so just make note of where they're sliding out and there's a spot we'll slide them back into the back uh, the belts on the back of the bearing back there off of the uh, extruder and then this just lifts up and the belts attached I don't undo the belt when you turn this over keep in mind uh, on the left side is the one bearing on the right side are two bearings. So I just hold the rods in place, turn this over and you'll see it, right? So there's one bearing on, he on here you'll unscrew, there's two over here you'll unscrew, just keep in mind the orientation when you put those rods back. Uh, so if you just lay this flat, we will unscrew uh, just the one side, they're all the same. Uh, and I don't over tighten these. Uh, so before you put it back on, just make sure everything slides smoothly. Once you unscrew this, the rod will lift up. There's two screws, and the original bearing will just be in there. It just sits right in there. So you'll take off the original bearing, and I don't know if you can hear it, right? But that's the noise you hear on all bearings that are there. Just slide that off. The printed bearing. Uh, I clean it off. I don't put extra uh, oil on there uh, to lubricate it or anything. 
and you can see super quiet and they slide nice and freely so what you do is you just put that back on and that goes in place and the two screws just line those up and underneath the bed is pretty simple uh, but you just change three bearings underneath the bed and that'll actually make your bed surprisingly very quiet compared to the ones with the ball bearings and you can actually buy these if you don't want to print them uh, I printed them in PETG again I don't over tighten that I make sure the rod slides that's it so we'll just turn that over again this is going to be on the right side when it's over and the two bearings uh, with the rod on the left what we're going to do is slide just making sure my screws to the bed don't fall and you just lift up the bed where the rods slid out you'll just put them back in those little holes it's similar to the pieces that are on the front that you unscrewed and the belt underneath the bed and the belt may slide off and again the notches are on the bottom go back up on the back extruder okay so the back belt you'll see the grooves go down goes back on the extruder and then you want to pull this front piece tight so the belt stays on the back Slide the linear rods in, and you can take these two pieces, slide it in the rods, and they will rest in the position there for the bed. And we'll put those screws back in in a second. When you have all this hand tightened, uh, this will screw back into the tensioner knob. Uh, so I just rest that there while making sure that the belt stays on the back here. All right, now that that's in place, I take the four pieces, line up the holes with the spacers, and what you're going to do is you can put the bed, line the bed back up, and then we'll just drop the screws right in. And what we're going to do is I have all four screws out. I line up the bed so you can just gently rest them on top of the spacers. And they're all lined up. And that'll actually just drop right in. They're all four screws. And you can just tighten them. Now, one of the other things, uh, we're coming up on the end here, I did want to just put this back together for you. And the reason is, is even if you don't, you know, if you get any, a couple things out of this, even if you don't change the bearings on the bottom of the bed, these four screws, some uh, beds were being reported uh, where you get some Z binding, and there's obviously various reasons for uh, Z binding. Um, you can notice up here at the top, and I can put this link at the top. Uh, there was um, another uh, SVO sixer uh, that designed these, um, where the um, the Z rods actually go into a bearing within this, uh, and I printed both of these out in light blue, uh, and then this is much better because this rod, when it came, was pretty 
pretty free within the originals. Um, so there's no ball, you know, bearing uh, here that the rod went into. Uh, so I took these off, printed these. These are pretty easy to put on too. That's a good upgrade for you on the SV06. Um, but the bed, these screws, some of them were loose. Um, they weren't all tight. Um, I actually like to make mine super tight. Um, obviously not overdone where you strip anything. But I really give these two to three extra tightening turns. And before anything, you can just double check that because you can lift up the PEI sheet and just check that. A lot of people don't double check that that's tight. All right, so that's tight. The belt's on the back. Bed's back on with the spacers under it. And as I slide this back, I just make sure the belt's still there. So I hold the front piece, slide the bed, keeping the belt in position. And then what you want to do is we want to tighten these four screws. I forgot one time when I did this. So the four screws go right back into these spot that holds your linear rods in place. Again, overall, this is not too hard. And once we get these done, we put the face uh, plate back on and we'll put the tensioner knob back on and then you're done. Make sure these are pretty snug. This only goes on one way. Uh, the hole is towards the the top. You know, you turn it. So it's. Yeah, I'll put these four screws back on. Just to finish up this little tutorial, I only screwed in one. Um, I'll screw on the rest later. But this piece, the belt, it's snug on the back extruder. Uh, and what you have to do is you hold it in place here with the belt, you line up the screw, and once you get the screw to grab, your belt tensioner is done. And that slides really nice. Put your plate back on and you are in business with changing the linear rod bearings on the bottom of the bed. Let me know if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions. Thank you.